PROMISE is an EU project within the programme Marine Biotech. The aim is to discover new substances that can be used as medicines or as food for animals and humans from microorganisms in the ocean. So the people that are involved in the PROMISE project here at the University of Oslo are Sandra Gran Stadnichenko, she's a researcher, Luca Supraha, he's a postdoc, and Karoline Selbracka, she's a PhD student. And I am Bente Edvardsson, I'm a professor in marine biology here at the Department of Biosciences, section for aquatic biology and toxicology. So the ocean covers 70% of the Earth's surface and the microalgae that are so small that we need to see them through a microscope, they are food for, for most of the life in the ocean. They absorb CO2 and transform this to sugars that is food for most of the food webs in the ocean. And they also produce half of all the oxygen on Earth, so every second breath is from an microalgae from the ocean. They live in a world full of enemies and because of this they produce a lot of compounds to protect themselves and these compounds can have bioactivity that we can use. For example, so can some of these substances maybe be the future's antibiotics or reduce the resistance to antibiotics in bacteria. My name is Karolina Sebreka. I'm a PhD student at the University of Oslo. I work with marine protists in the Arctic and I will look at their community structure and also the biodiversity. This is a algae culture of the Trisocumulina ledbea tree. And this algae actually killed 13,000 salmons on fish farms in Norway this year. And now I will take out a small amount of this big culture for counting so we can see the cell density in this culture. My name is Lukas Szupracha. I'm a postdoc here at the University of Oslo, Department of Biosciences. And my current research is focused on diversity and distribution of Arctic protists. In the PROMISE project, uh, my role is to isolate individual cells of marine uh, microalgae, grow them in culture, identify and describe them using different microscopy and genetic methods, and finally, grow them in large volume so that they can be used for other analysis in the project. My name is Sandra Gran, and I'm a researcher in marine biology at the University of Oslo. My field of expertise is marine protist diversity, which includes both microalgae and other non-photosynthetic single-cell eukaryotes. My role in the PROMISE project is mainly to isolate and characterize new species from natural samples, as we have here. And one of the methods that we use to obtain monoalkyl cultures is the method of the serial dilution. So to be able to to preserve the biodiversity in nature, we also need to know what there are, who are they, and under which condition can they grow, and what are their ecological role, and that is what we study. So in addition to analysing new cultures, we can also analyse the diversity in field material that we collect from the ocean. So when we are on a cruise, we take a sample on the filter and then we can analyze by looking at the DNA in this sample which species are present and each species have a different DNA sequence and then we can from the DNA sequence we can tell which species that was present in the sample that is called metabarcoding. So when we now try to isolate the algae from nature, we need to mimic or have the similar conditions here in the lab as in the nature. 
So we need to try to find the right nutrients, the light condition, right temperature, light salinity, where they will thrive. And in addition, we need to pick just the one species out of a mixture of, of different species. So we need to remove all the other species, and that can take many months. So here at the university, in collaboration with Norwegian Institute of Water Research, we have the largest culture collection of algae in the Nordic countries. I think it's important that we use the new resources from the ocean. We will need new medicines and we will also need new food products. And uh, to use algae, I think it's a, a sustainable way for the future. It's very important to, to develop new, for example, antibiotics. We will need new antibiotics for the future. What I think is exciting in this project is that this uh, combines different expertise. Uh, we are marine biologists, genetics, chemists, pharmacists, bioinformatics that combine our competence to find and discover new compounds from marine organisms that can be used in future medicines. And we will now send these filters to Munich where they will take out the chemical compounds from these samples.